Good morning everyone and welcome to another weekly stargazing with myself Andrew, one of the astronomers in the planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre. And today we are talking about the Summer Triangle. The Summer Triangle is not a constellation, it's what we call an asterism. An asterism is a pattern of stars that borrow themselves from a larger constellation or constellations. In this case it is borrowing from three constellations, Lyra the Heart, Cygnus the Swan and Aquila the Eagle. Now there is no quick trick to finding the Summer Triangle. We must dive straight in and find one of the brightest stars in our nighttime sky, a star called Vega, part of the constellation of Lyra the Harp. Vega is an amazing constellation for astronomical history. It was the first star other than our sun to be photographed and it was the first star to have its spectrum taken. Taking a spectrum of a star means we get to learn more about how hot it is, what it's made of, how dense it is and loads more information. It was also one of the first stars that we estimated the distance of as well. It is around 25 light years away. Now a light year is a measurement of distance. It's how far light can travel within a year. That means when we look at Vega, we are seeing it as it was 25 years ago. Now Vega is considered a relatively close star, which means other stars that we see in the nighttime sky are even further away, which means we are seeing even further back in time. But enough about that. We still need to finish off this triangle. After finding Vega, you want to find another really bright star in the Swan Cygnus. It's a bright star called Deneb, which means the tail. Once you find Deneb, you can also start to find the rest of Cygnus the Swan as well. You move down towards its heart called Sadir, and then down its really long neck to find another brightish star called Alberio. Those stars are bright enough that you can see them from the city centre as long as it's a clear night. From Sadir, you'll also be able to find three stars either side that make up the wings. And then finally, we move on down to Altair, one of the brightest stars in our sky and a great bright star of Aquila the Eagle. And once you find that star, you have finished off the Summer Triangle. Vega, Deneb and Altair. My favourite thing about finding the Summer Triangle is once you've found Deneb and Altair, you have found our Milky Way. This is something you won't be able to see from the city, but if you're far away from a city and you're in a dark night sky, the Summer Triangle is really helpful for finding our home, our galaxy, and our Milky Way. Thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed that session of weekly stargazing and I hope you get to find the Summer Triangle. If you have any other questions or comments about what's been happening today, please comment below and we'll try and get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you another time for more weekly stargazing at GSC at home at 10am.